we all know how awesome Magit is um, when you're using Emacs. Uh, I mean, if you're not using it at the moment, you really need to uh, have a look at this killer package. Uh, Magit um, makes it so uh, um, easy to work with Git from within Emacs. And uh, there is another package called Magit Hub, uh, which I've been trying out recently. Um, and I found a use case uh, that I thought uh, would be worthwhile um, demoing. And that's how to submit a pull request uh, directly from within Emacs. Um, but before I start, um, I thought I would enable something called uh, command log mode. And uh, what that does is that um, at the window here to the right, you will be able to see um, the keys that I press and the functions um, which they trigger. So I'm using Doom Emacs here and uh, with evil mode enabled. Uh, so there will be a lot of Vim like um, keystrokes. Um, but hopefully now you'll be able to follow along even if you're using native Emacs key bindings because you will see the actual functions. And um, I asked a friend if I could have a look at his uh, uh, Emacs configuration and see if I could find something there uh, which I could make a pull request out of. Um, so the first thing I need to do is um, to, to clone his repository. And I will do that with my GitHub clone. Uh, it's called Emacs config. And Emacs uh, config. Yeah. Yes. No. All right. Um, here we can see the recent commits, and this is the default um, magic status. And uh, we'll see here which files we have in this project. We have a configuration.org, and that's um, a literate. Um, uh, configuration using org mode uh, so that's really awesome and um, here I was looking through the the configuration and found this uh, switch window package and I saw here in the config that uh, we're customizing some of the uh, the symbols here uh, using the set queue function and I realized that um, I could make a, a, um, a minor simplification here because the set queue uh, function accepts multiple pairs of um, symbols and values. Um, so I'll open this up and um, I'll be using a package called dispy here to slurp in these other um, expressions. And then I'll create some multiple cursors and uh, delete that set queues along with the parentheses like that so now we only have one set queue and I open up my JIT status again and uh, we'll have a look at the change yeah seems about right uh, commit and uh, simplify configuration for switch Um, one thing that I did now was that I committed to the, the cloned uh, repository, but I should really make a fork out of this. Um, and I will start by enabling the GitHub here in this repo before I forget. And uh, then I will fork it. And the good thing now is that I will get the question here if I want to create a spin off branch. And if you haven't tried this in uh, in Magit, 
it's actually really cool because sometimes you accidentally uh, commit to master uh, but with this spin-off branch um, it will take the uh, the commits that you made since uh, master was updated and uh, bring the those into uh, a new branch and uh, rewind master for you so i want this and let's to simplify branch uh, yeah 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 so now if i have a look here um yeah i have my uh, commit and if i look at my repositories i can refresh these i have 24 now and uh, now I have 25. So here's the fork that's been created. And now um, I want to push up my, my branch here. I need to provide my username and password. simplify switch window branch we can just verify yeah see um, so now I want to take that branch and um, create submit a pull request choose that one that one and I want to choose the master of um, the Emacs config here Right, so here it's pulled in uh, the uh, commit message that I had before. So I will just add some more. So I will say, uh, I, um, I found this um, part um, with uh, set forget to mention that I haven't really tested this so maybe I did something wrong who knows so I press R to reply and um, This is how easy it can be to to submit a pull request directly from uh, within Emacs. I mean, it's really cool. I never needed to to leave um, and go into the terminal at any point or go into the browser and do something. So I hope you found this um, uh, interesting. And um, thanks for watching. <laughs>